Good evening, boys and girls. This is Miss Gross, and we're going to review improper fractions and mixed numbers. Some of you guys um, are going to be doing this on your homework tomorrow, so I wanted to review this just so you can have a little helpful hint um, to get you through your homework this evening. So before we talk about improper fractions and mixed numbers, let's talk about really quick about what we remember about fractions. So if I have a fraction like 3 fourths, this top number is my numerator. This bottom number is my denominator. I know that my numerator, or my, let's do denominator first. I know that my denominator is going to tell me how many equal pieces that the whole has, that the whole thing has, how many equal, equal pieces or equal parts in the whole. And I know that my numerator tells me how many pieces that I'm going to shade or how many pieces that I'm talking about. So what this would look like, let's do a square. If I had a square that was split into four pieces, one, two, three, four equal pieces. So this is my denominator, it says one, two, three, four equal pieces. And I'm going to shade in three, because my numerator says that I have three fourths shaded in. And if this was a circle fraction, like this. I have four equal parts and I have one, two, three parts shaded in. So that's what we know about our numerator and our denominator. Now, if we're talking about improper fractions, our fraction is going to look a little bit different. So an improper fraction, I could have something like seven fourths. Now, this is improper because our numerator is bigger than our denominator, so it looks a little weird, looks a little improper to us, but this still works as a fraction. It just looks a little bit differently when you see the picture. Again, our denominator is going to tell us the equal pieces or the equal parts in one whole. And the 7 is going to tell me that I have how many shaded. Now, I know that in one whole, I'm going to have four equal parts. Right? The four tells us equal parts in one whole. There's four equal parts. But this tells me that I need seven parts shaded in. So we come to a crossroads when we think, well, how could I have seven pieces shaded in if there's only four in one whole? And what we realize is maybe this means that we need more than one whole. So if I have one, two, three, four pieces, I know I need seven shaded in, I'm going to need three more pieces. So we're going to add another whole. And our denominator tells us that we need four equal pieces in each whole. So we're going to have four equal pieces in this here. So if we need seven shaded, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, shaded. Because I have seven pieces shaded, and there's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four pieces in each hole. So if each of these is one fourth, so one out of four, I have seven of those one fourth pieces colored in. So I have seven fourths. Now, if I wanted to do seven fourths as a mixed number, again, that's your denominator. How many equal pieces? How many equal parts? and that is your amount shaded. I'm going to draw my model one more time to get my mixed number out of it. So I need, I need seven fourths or seven one fourth pieces because this is a one fourth and I need seven of them. Three, four, there's five, six, seven. Now my mixed number is going to tell me how many whole pieces I have shaded in, or how many whole um, items or whole shapes I have shaded in with how much is left over. So over here, I see that I have one whole shaded in because all four pieces are shaded in. So I have, for my mixed number, I have one whole. And then left over, let's see how many fourths I have because I don't have another whole because I don't have the whole thing shaded in on here. I have one two, three shaded out of four in there. So one and three fourths because I have one hole and then there's three fourths left over. 
Let's do one more example. Oops. If I wanted to have something like, let's see here, we'll have 8 thirds as my improper fraction. That tells me my equal pieces or equal parts in each hole and that tells me how many I need to have shaded. So what this would look like, 8 thirds, if we have a circle split into thirds, there's one, two, three. So we see we need more because we need eight parts. Oops, try to make that as equal as possible. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, we're going to need more. Seven, eight, nine. So if I see if I draw three holes, then I have enough to shade eight of them. So let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because if each of these pieces is a third, when my hole is split into three equal parts, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts that are shaded. So I have eight thirds shaded in eight one third pieces. Then if I want to do my mixed number, I see that I have one, two holes that are shaded in all the way. So I've talked about this one. That's one hole. That's one hole. And over here, I don't have a hole yet because I would need that piece to be shaded in too. So obviously it has to be a fraction of the whole or a part of the whole. So I see that out of three pieces, I have one, two shaded in. So eight thirds has two holes and two thirds left over. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at some problems from your homework and we're gonna do them together. So if you wanna get your homework out, so you can work on it along with me, that is totally fine with me. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to get your homework out. So the directions on your homework say to write the improper fractions in the mixed numbers based on the models below. And you have an example here. So your improper fraction on this one is 9 fourths because each circle has four parts, four equal parts. Each hole, so that's a hole, that's a hole, has four equal parts. And let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine of them are shaded in. So that's how much are shaded, right? Now, we see over here for a mixed number, we have two holes are shaded in, and left over here is one of our fourths that's shaded in, and that's our mixed number. So let's move over here. For our improper fraction, we see that each hole has four equal pieces. So that's going to be our denominator. Let's change that so you can see it better. Oops. Put it in red. Four equal pieces in each, and let's see how many are shaded. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen are shaded. So when each of them has four pieces, nineteen of them are shaded. So nineteen fourths is our improper fraction. Then over here, our mixed number. I have one, two, three, four of them that have the whole thing shaded in. And then this one has one, two, three out of the four shaded in. This one we don't count because nothing is shaded in. So we have 19 fourths and four and three fourths. Over here, let's see how many equal parts each hole has. One, two, three, four, five, six. So our denominator is six because each of these has six equal pieces in the hole and that's what our denominator tells us. Then let's see how many are shaded in. One, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 sixths are shaded in. Now with our mixed number, we see that this is one hole shaded in. This is one hole shaded in. So we have two holes shaded in. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are shaded in. So that's our leftovers. So in our mixed number, we have our holes and we have our leftovers. So that's why it's mixed up because you have a whole number and a fraction mixed together. And this last one, there's a lot going on here. So let's be really careful. Let's see for our improper fraction, what our denominator is going to be. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six equal pieces in one hole because this is one hole right here. Let's see how much is shaded in to see what our improper fraction is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So we have 31 pieces straight in because there's each of these is one sixth because that's one out of six. And there's 31 of those. So we have 31 sixths. Let's erase that. We all know Miss Gross has a hard time with her Promethean board sometimes. And for our mixed number, let's see how many holes we have. We have one, two, three, four, five. Have the whole thing shaded in. And let's see what our leftovers are. We only have one shaded in out of the one, two, three, four, five, six. So five and one, six are shaded in. So to reflect, we've talked about improper fractions. And we've talked about mixed numbers. Your improper fraction is going to have a numerator that is bigger than the denominator. Your denominator is always going to tell you how many equal pieces are in the whole. And your numerator tells you how many are shaded in. And then over here for our mixed number, we have how many holes you can see and then your leftovers. I hope this helps on your homework. We will keep reviewing this um, this week and next week during class and on homework. I will see you tomorrow and I hope you guys have a good night. Bye-bye.